Hi, here we have a SAT math question. Okay, let's go over the information. In rectangle ABCD above, E is on DC, F is on BC, DE equals to 6 and FC equals to 1. If angle A is trisected, it is divided into three equal parts by the line segments uh, AE and AF. What is the length of BF? Okay, they have uh, given the length of uh, the part D, that is 6. And also they have given the length of the part FC, that is 1. And uh, angle measure A, this angle measure A is trisected. That is, it has been divided into three equal parts by the line segments AE and AF. And uh, we have to find the length of BF. Okay, so in any rectangle, uh, the measure of angle at each vertex uh, will be a right angle or 90 degree. So here the angle measure we have at the vertex A is a right angle or uh, it measures 90 degree. But this angle measure is divided into three equal parts by the line segments AE and AF. So here we have 90 degree angle measure because it's a rectangle. So each vertex angle will be 90 degree. So if I divide this 90 degree into three equal parts, so the measure of each part will be 30 degree. So this is 30, this is 30, and this is 30 degree. Okay, here uh, D is one of the vertices, vertices of this rectangle ABCD. So the measure of the angle at the vertex D is a right angle that is 90 degree. Okay, now let's consider uh, the triangle A, B, A, D, E. So in this, tri in this triangle A, D, E, I know the two interior angles, one is 30 degree and the other one is 90 degree. So what is the measure of the third interior angle over here? That is 60 degree. So we can find this angle measure 60 using the triangle angle sum property. Because in any triangle, the three interior angles will add up to 180 degree. Okay, here, so triangle ADE is a special right triangle. So because it contains the angle measures 30, 60, 90. Any right triangle uh, contains uh, the angle measures, the interior angle measures 30, 60, 90 degree uh, is considered to be a special right triangle. Okay, in this uh, special right triangle, the side which is opposite to the smallest angle measure 30 degree is considered to be the shortest leg. So D is the side which is opposite to the smallest angle 30 degree. So D is the shortest leg in this right triangle. Usually, uh, we assume a variable as the length of the shortest leg in the in this kind of 30, 60, 90 special triangle. So in this uh, ADE, in this special right triangle ADE, so I assume X as the length of the uh, shortest leg DE, which is opposite to the smallest angle, 30 degree. Okay, if I assume X as the length of the shortest leg DE, then the length of the side, which is opposite to 60 degree will be x times square root of 3. So whenever I assume the length of the shortest leg of 30, 60, 90 triangle as x, uh, I mean the shortest leg usually is opposite to the smallest angle 30 degree. So if I assume uh, x as the length of the shortest leg, then the length of the side which is opposite to 60 degree will be x times square root of 3. That is we have to multiply this x by square root of 3 to get the length of the side which is opposite to 60 degree angle measure. Then the length of the hypotenuse will be 2x. Actually, this is not required in this problem. Anyways, I'm just telling you in 30, 60, 90 triangle, always we have to uh, remember this stuff in any special right triangle. Okay, now uh, my aim is to get the length of the side AD. Once I get the length of the side AD, the same length I allow for BC. So because in any rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. So uh, whatever uh, length I'm getting for AD, the same length I can have for BC. So once I get the length of BC, I can subtract one from the length of BC to get the length of BF. Okay, now my target is to get the length of AD. To get the length of AD, I have to find the value of X. Once I get the value of X, it can be multiplied by square root of three to get the length of AD. Okay, here uh, we have assumed uh, X as the length of the side D. But already the length of the side is given in the question, that is 6. So we have 6 for x. So then what is the length of AD? That is 6 square root of 3. So then the length of BC is also 6 square root of 3 because opposite sides are equal in length. So uh, to get the length of uh, BF, because that's the target of the question. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking, this, uh, uh, I'm taking the length of the side BC from which I subtract FC. 
So from this complete length BC, if I subtract FC, I'll be getting the length of BF. So just now I got the length of BC, which is six times square root of three. And the length of FC is given in the question itself, that is one. So now I got the length of BF, that is six square root of three, negative one. So the correct answer choice for this question is option D.